<clears throat> Can I say this one? Can I really say it? It says, gobble till you wobble. Once again to Rob's homemade in the 24 days of spicy advent calendar day 17 17 days of getting up in the morning recording uploading editing and then going to work it's taking its toll on me anyway <laughs> I'm still enjoying it and I hope you guys am too. Yeah. The sofa's rocking. Everybody's still here. Nobody's left. Nobody's gone home. I hope you guys are sticking with the 24 days to see what different things we get. I must have gone through a jar of coffee in these 17 days to uh, keep me going. I probably put on about a stone already with chocolate, scratchings, cheese everything that's wonderful about christmas so yes day 17 so we'll go straight to our wonderful snaffling pig yesterday was funny because we had i'm not going to tell you if you haven't seen day 16 you'll have to go and find out what was on the card on day 16 because it was funny day 17 is here so what have we got <clears throat> can i say this one can i really say it it says gobble till you wobble gobble till you wobble gobble till you wobble take that whichever way you want to take it i know some people will take it one way one person in particular will take it one way and i know she'll probably comment below with something sarcastic so gobble till you wobble day 17 my mind is blown losing track day 17 we have salt and black pepper something nice to go with it hopefully in a cheesy uh, manner Gobble till you wobble, guys. That's just a lovely, perfect combo. The salt and black pepper on this crunchy scratching. That's it. Considering it's a plain standard flavour, which is one of my favourites. But like I said, Belly getting full, and it's going to get even fuller over the next six days, and then Christmas is here, which fills you up even more. Beer, turkey, stuffing, sprouts, everything. So, salt and pepper black scratchings, salt and black pepper scratchings. <laughs> Cheese, where are we? Oh. Here we go, chuckling cheese for day 17. We're back on track. I, like I've said, <coughs> this has got to be a chutney, it's got to be because we've had cheese, cheese, crackers, cheese. But I'm not holding my breath. But do you know what? <coughs> when you can't push the middle in that, like you know, there's a jar in there because normally you can push it down. And you've got the crackers or you've got their but on as soon as i do that i know there's a jar underneath because the jar is a tight fit and it, the calendar becomes hard to open so top tip guys if you can't open the door there's a jar underneath and here we are 
for another jar. Oh, come on. Of potting shed pickle. This stuff. I think this is the second time we've had it. Or is it the third? Might be the third, actually. But it's really good stuff. It's got Swede in. Or was it Swede? I'm sure it was Swede. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yes, ingredient sugars, carrot, swede. Swede in a chutney. Something I would never ever dream of doing. But the taste is banging. If I can get it open. Like I said, for a calendar, that's a good size jar. It is an excellent size jar. For the potting shed, chutney, and guess what? Guess what's going on here? We've got a couple of scratchings left. So I'm gonna go boing. <clears throat> boing, boing. And we have salt and pepper scratchings, potting shed pickle. Beautiful. That's why I love these calendars as well. Because you can put together some amazing combos. <clears throat> it's absolutely bang. That would be a combo, which I would never normally have, because I probably wouldn't buy the potting shed. I'd buy the scratchings. <clears throat> but now I've tasted the potting shed, I'd probably buy a big jar of that. Keep it in the fridge for cheese and pickle sandwiches. Because it's perfect. So, day 17. Chili Fiesta. 12 days of chili. So, technically, 17 becomes 9. And we have... Ooh. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Katie, help me out here. We have garlic hot sauce, one we've never had yet, which is always good. Something new. Vinegar based. Hoping for a punch of garlic. It's like a it's like an orangey colour, which is a bit strange for a garlic hot sauce. But we're gonna go with it. The bust it open. And have a power. A decent spoonful. Ooh, yes. That's actually really flavoursome. Strong garlic flavour. Mmm. That's not bad. Considering, like I said, the more vinegar based hot sauce, the Reaper one has got a Reapy. I'm not going to lie, that has got Reapy. The Chipotle and lime one would make a perfect salad dressing. And there was the yellow one. I can't remember what it was called. That was actually really, really tasty as well. So it's not been a, a bad hot sauce calendar, considering the more vinegar-based hot sauces. It's not been as bad as I expected it to be. We'll spill this down because the last thing I want is garlic and chocolate. That's a combo. I don't really want to be tasting. I'll sweep the last of the coffee. And here we are, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, there's the right amount of chocolates left. I think I'm just gonna go top and work my way down now, because I was picking out of each one. I don't know. Or should I just go, because there's two in each one, one of them. We're gonna go with uh, this red and gold one. I'll be sad to see the back of these chocolates, I'm not gonna lie. They will really, really taste it. And the hot ones are extreme heat. So here we go. It's like a goldy red colour. Matches my jumper, really. Merry Flaming Christmas. Day 17. Spicy Extreme Edition Advent. Advent from the Chili Jam Man. I'm waffling now, Rob. Shut up.
No heat. We'll cook a chocolate. As I've always said, <coughs> excuse me. Awesome flavour. I'm not normally a massive fan of dark chocolate, but then I've changed my opinion, I'll be perfectly honest. If you're buying a cheap, nasty, dark chocolate, then it tastes vile. But then I've been banging all the way through, even with no heat. So we've got two, four, two, four, seven left, which is right, yeah. Because we are on day 17 of the 24 days of Spicy Advent. The crew's here. I'm hoping to get a bit more on the sofa. But we shall, we shall see. You never know what's going to come, if anything. But I'm quite compact here anyway. So I'm really enjoying it. i loving We've what we had today then. Well, quick rerun. Salt and black pepper scratchings. Um, the potting shed pickle, which is absolutely awesome from the Chuckling Cheese Company. The garlic hot sauce, which was quite good, quite tasty. Not bad at all for a vinegar based sauce, as I've said. And a beautiful, wonderful chili jam man, Belgium dark chocolate. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you are enjoying these videos as much as I am making them. It's been fun. My belly's getting fat, but it's soon be Christmas. Day 17 is over. So thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget the notification bell. Click all and you will get every single notification from me, Rob, and the crew here on the sofa. So have a great Christmas. Have a great build up. Day 18 tomorrow. We're getting close to the last day. This advent calendar will soon be over and I'll be sad to finish it. I could do a 365 day advent calendar if I wanted to, I suppose, but nah, definitely not. I'd kill myself. So thank you very much for watching and peace. Hey, the weather outside is frightful and the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow It doesn't show signs